reaction now in today's closing bell exchange. We have Lee Munson from Portfolio Asset Management, Gene Peroni from Advisors Asset Management, Doug Cote from ING Investment Management, and Rick Santelli. I don't know. You don't, you don't work for an investment management company, do you? <laughs> no, Look, not yet. <laughs> Doug Cote, it's this kind of a story that still has you investing defensively right now, isn't it? What do you make of this? Yeah. Uh, well, we've seen in retail sales uh, that came out last week, it was kind of on the light side, and there is concern. It was mentioned the payroll uh, um, tax hike, and but we're we're more concerned with a general easing of fundamentals. Fundamentals seem to be rolling over. You have Japan data in recession. You have uh, Europe in recession. First negative quarter for the U.S. So we don't see the fundamentals supportive of uh, continued market strength. And this might be a, a little overdone right now, I mean the market. Well, that, that's the issue, isn't it, Lee Munson? Because you have a market that has been rallying uh, since 2012 and money, new money coming into this market and earnings have just been okay. Revenue certainly has been nothing to write home about. Now this on Walmart indicating perhaps we're looking at a slower period. Is the market too high uh, for actual fundamentals? No, I don't think it is because we're still looking at, you know, potentially 8 to 10 percent earnings growth on the S&P for this, for this year of 2013. But I'll tell you, Maria, uh, the Walmart news is not good. The big thing is that we've had spending stay up while people are getting a tax hike. So what's happening is that generally what American consumers do is they adjust their, their savings. And why not? Last month, the S&P was up 5 percent. So I think, if anything, the fundamentals are still there. People are making money in, their mar in the market. In their 401ks, if they can just keep spending. So when you get news like this Walmart stuff, for me, the fundamentals are there. But boy, this could be a great trading opportunity if we can really get people to panic next week. I'd love to buy into it. Hey, I was just going to ask you that question, Gene Peroni. With retail stocks heading lower here, is, is this the kind of a, a market move that makes you want to step in and buy or take some profits and step back for a little while? Well, Bill, you know, this has been a rotational market, and that's been one of the very positive features, that the market continues to address the short-term excesses, and we get these corrections today, an event-driven decline in Walmart, uh, putting some pressure on consumer discretionary. Consumer discretionary is a very strong performing group over the last couple of years. I think the real story this year is going to be more of the biz business or the industrial-led uh, sectors of the market. So, in other words, a focus on the global economic expansion. Uh, the industrials, including the uh, aerospace and defense, uh, tooling and dye companies, and so on. So you're uh, going to buy so selectively the consumer, here. but more the industrial. You're going to buy selectively, then, is what you're saying. Well, we're going to buy more rotationally, but we're going to focus yeah. more on industrials, technology, and healthcare, more so than on consumer discretionary. Rick Santelli, we had a lot of supply coming to market this week. We talked about it last week. What kind of an impact did you see? Well, I think the markets will speak for themselves. You know, if you bought into the three-year note auction, you, you basically are unchanged in terms of money. If you bought into the 10-year note auction, which was the dog, you're making some dough. Yields are lower than the 2046 they were auctioned at. On the 30-year bond, it's a push. So supply was gobbled up, but investors, you know, it, it's not as easy as it was to buy and recycle to the Fed purchase programs. But here's something interesting, okay? When I look at Walmart, and I think about how I feel about the economy, which isn't really represented by stocks. Look at this chart starting in November for Walmart stock and the Dow Jones. Walmart right now is about at the same level it was in November. The Dow is about 1,400 points higher. I think Walmart has it right, and I think it's one of the reasons buying of Fed uh, into the Treasuries aside, where yields have remained stubborn about moving up, even though it's the financial community's main antagonist. So you, you think the retail sales are going to slow down from here, is that what you're saying? Absolutely. And, you know, when I look at exports, uh, it's less than 10 percent of our GDP. So why should slowing in the rest of the world hurt us a lot? I say that's a bad metric. Think about all the multinationals and their overseas sales. That's twice the number of exports. And that's where the pain's going to come from. Well, I, I guess no, when, but, you, but, look but, this, but, but, when but, you look at this, when you look at this you're going to see, you're gonna see ahead, the lowering Lee. of the spending in the 401ks. Rick, you have to understand, this is, you know, we're out of 2008. People are going to look at their 401k statements where 
they have a job or not, and they're going to see five, six. And what do you want them to do with it? Pull it out to leave. live today? I want them to. I want Americans to buy more crap, and I think that this is a blip on the screen. Now, I will say. <laughs> I want them to get I'm more money at their job, not Chicago. through their four hundred one k. They need jobs. Well, we need the to they're promote making better money growth. In the 401K. But the four hundred one k story is a good story. I agree. Well, let me ask you this. What, what about this Walmart? Right what, about, what about this Walmart uh, memo? I mean, you know, Gene Peroni, as a, as a portfolio manager, you see an inter-office memo at Walmart where, you know, one of the managers says, look, this is disaster in terms of our earnings. The earnings are coming out next week. What do you do with that? Do you move on it? Do you, do you say, oh, this could indicate something bigger? How do you see it? Well, Maria, to be honest with you, we don't have Walmart uh, in our actively managed portfolio, so uh, yeah, we don't really have a position. Yeah, more about the economy, about retail sales in general. Uh, to some degree, but you look at the retail group, and there are a number of stocks that are trading near their 52-week uh, highs, like Ralph Lauren, for instance, or Diller Department Stores, right. doing very well. So I think that this is just going to be a general buying opportunity with a focus on Walmart. So I don't see this as a lasting, longer-term issue. Just like the Google pre-announcement of the earnings, uh, many thought that was going to be a big problem, and here's Google right back up again. Last I know that's technology, not retail. It's the same psychology. Last quick word to Doug Cote. You said you thought this was overdone. Would you buy Walmart here? Is that what you're saying? What we have to look at is, uh, is the payroll tax the driving force in slowing the consumer down or housing? Housing is really picking up and housing prices are going up. And if I'm a consumer, I care a lot more about my housing price going up. So I think this might be overdone. We're just saying go from uh, moderate growth to conservative growth because okay. the fundamentals like earn earnings are slowing. And Lee, Lee Munson, we have a new slogan for America, buy more crap. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Thank, Thank you guys. That was great. Have a good weekend. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Thank you.